Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby. Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? It's time for my March wrap up. In the month of March, I read a total of nine books, and that was two graphic novels and seven full length novels. Let's get right to it. So the first book I picked up this month was the book Hidden Bodies by Carolyn Kepnes. This book is a sequel to You. It was one of my favorites of last year. This book follows Joe Goldberg, who's this like crazy, psychotic, stalker type of guy. It follows him from New York to Los Angeles as he follows this new girl that he's interested in. I can't talk about this book a lot without giving away spoilers, so all I'm gonna say is that it was really like funny if you're into dark humor. It was very intense with all these like crazy plot twists that I didn't see coming. I didn't like this one as much as I liked you, but I definitely still really, really enjoyed this one. I gave it four out of five stars. It was just so good. Like, I can't get enough of Joe Goldberg. He's like one of my favorite characters. I also really like the addition of love in this book, the new character that he meets. thought, like, they were really similar to Dexter and Rita in the show Dexter. <sighs> I really love this book. It was really good. The second book I picked up this month was the Saga Volume 2 in the graphic novel series. In this book, I gave 4.5 out of 5 stars to. I really, really loved it. This world just continues to impress me. There's tons of humor and action and romance and it's just so good. Really, really awesome. Love this series. The third book I read this month was The Love That Split the World by Emily Henry and this is my book club's pick for the month um, for our March read and we have our book club over on Instagram. It's at the Readers Guild. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. I ended up giving it 2.5 out of 5 stars. I didn't care for it all that much. This is a book about time travel and romance and it's young adult and to be honest it was a little bit too insta lovey for me like it was like the moment they met each other they were like willing to die for each other and shit you know it was just and it had a lot of the young adult tropes that I really hate like insta love in a love triangle uh, however I did like some aspects of it because I liked that the main character is like Native American and it seemed very culturally diverse with all these background uh, stories of the Native American the story itself it kind of fell short for me the ending was really like confusing to me and it's supposedly supposed to be like really Really mind-blowing but I personally didn't really find it that mind-blowing I just thought it was kind of confusing I mean there was one good plot twist that I really didn't see coming but other than that it was just okay and I'm disappointed because I really wanted to love this one the fourth book I picked up this month was Dark Wild Night by Christina Lauren this is the third book in the Wild Season series this book I ended up giving 3.5 out of 5 stars to like I didn't love it but I didn't hate it obviously either this book follows Lola and Oliver and they were actually like my favorite like relatable couple because I loved that Lola was like writing comics and I love that her comic is being turned into a movie and I think that's such a like cool character to read about and stuff and then Oliver owns a comic book store in San Diego so I just thought that they were really awesome and like I loved all the pop culture references and I loved having trouble confessing their love for each other because they've been friends now for a while so I just thought it was really really cute. However, I just thought that there was a really ridiculous conflict about two-thirds of the way through the book and it just kind of ruined the overall feel of the rest of the book just because the conflict was so stupid. It was like it was just put in for the sake of the book having a conflict and I just kind of hate when authors do that so I did like this one better than the second book with Harlow and Flynn. I just didn't really like Harlow and Flynn that much. I don't know why. And then the first book is still my favorite with me and Ansel because Ansel it's like life. <laughs> the next book I picked up this month was This Is Not A Test by Courtney Summers and I gave this book four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. This book follows Sloane through a zombie apocalypse. She is surviving the zombie apocalypse by staying in the old high school that she used to go to with five or six of her other classmates and this book isn't really about zombies at all. It's really about a coming of age story of Sloane dealing with some dramatic issues with her family that happened in the past. Her dad used to be really abusive and her her older sister had run away uh, six months before the zombie apocalypse happened so it's really about her dealing with her abandonment issues. She develops a romance with one of the characters in this book and it's really wonderful and beautiful and I adored it so much. It kind of reminded me of The Breakfast Club meets the zombie apocalypse just with the way all the characters were and the way they would share their stories about their past. Um, the only problem I had with this book is that the ending felt really um, like it didn't have any closure, it just kind of like ended, but the ending did have a lot of crazy surprises and it was really awesome and fast paced and I read this book all in one sitting, I just couldn't put it down, it was really good. Awesome book, definitely recommend checking it out. Right, the next book I picked up this month was Drive by James Salas, and this book I ended up giving 2 out of 5 stars to. As you can probably guess, I only picked this book up because I watched the movie and I love the movie so much, but this book kind of like fell short of my expectations. It just 
was so like boring and dull and it was written in this terribly awkward third person that just felt so distant and disconnected from everything like I don't know how to describe it but luckily this book is only about 150 pages and the writing is like huge so it only took me like an hour to get through this I didn't waste a lot of time on it so if you want to read this book I definitely recommend just watching the movie instead because the movie's way better. Right, the next book I picked up this month is New World Rising by Jennifer Wilson and this author was kind enough to send me a copy of this book for a review. In this book I actually ended up giving four to five stars to. I really enjoyed it. This is a young adult dystopian that is actually really similar to like Divergent and The Hunger Games. This is our main character Phoenix. She w witnessed her parents getting murdered at the age of 11 years old. From that point forward she's kind of been surviving on her own in the world. This book it has like five tribes that are in the world. It kind of like the factions and Divergent but Phoenix, our main character, doesn't belong to any of the tribes because she chooses not to, so she's like surviving on her own. And then one day she's captured by this rebellious group that wants to go against the tribes and like overthrow them. Uh, it also kind of reminded me of the Shatter Me trilogy a little bit. I also really loved Phoenix's relationship with the characters Mouse and Triven. I really loved her love relationship with Triven. I thought it was really cute and Triven was really adorable and protective of her and I just, I loved it a lot. I can't wait to read the next book. If you're a big fan of Divergent, then I definitely think you would like this. The next book I read this month is Kill the Boy Band by Goldie Moldovsky and this book I gave five out of five stars to. I absolutely loved it. I also read this book in one sitting. It was so surprisingly awesome. This book follows four girls as they intentionally stay at the same hotel as their favorite boy band. They end up kidnapping one of the boy band members and the book just kind of takes off from there and it's this crazy story about what it's like to be this crazy passionate fangirl. This book is like one of the funniest books I've ever read. It's really dark humor, but like if you're into really dark humor like I am, then it's very, very funny. It's like literally one of the funniest books I've ever read. Like I was laughing out loud multiple times and I was crying because I was laughing so hard. Oh my god. And if you've ever, ever been a fangirl over a boy band, like no matter what boy band it was, you will definitely relate to this. Like personally for me, I was obsessed with the Jonas Brothers in high school. Like insanely obsessed. Like oh my god. I saw them in concert like over 10 times and I would like cry over their videos, like posters all the way up to ceiling, floor to ceiling. So I just, I get it. I related to this a lot. It really reminded me of that time in my life when I was absolutely obsessed with a boy band. This book just really gets it, you know? It gets what it's like to be that 15 year old girl who thinks the entire world of these boys who are in this band that don't even know her. It's so good and it's funny like really dark but funny and then the second half of this book really reminded me of like Dangerous Girls by Abigail Has. It took on this really like suspenseful like intense thriller vibe that I really enjoyed. The second half of this book feels completely different from the first half of this book but like in a good way. It was so intense and refreshing and different. I just I loved everything about this book. I definitely definitely recommend checking this one out <laughs> if you've ever been a fangirl and if you enjoy dark humor then this is a great book for you. <laughs> right, and the last book I read this month is Saga Volume 3 by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staple. And this is the third book in the Saga graphic novel series. And this book I ended up giving 4.5 out of 5 stars to. Still really enjoy the humor and the romance in this book. I loved Hazel, their daughter's narrations throughout the book. I think her narrations are so beautiful and one of my favorite aspects of the story. I loved the vivid imagery in this and just getting to see all these really unique characters in this world. It's just so colorful and beautiful to look at and definitely can't wait to pick up the next few in this series. So, so good. Definitely check these out if you haven't yet. Alright, those are all the books that I read this month. Overall, it was a pretty great reading month. I actually liked a lot of the content that I read this month, which is rare for me these days, it feel, I feel like. Um, I've also been, uh, I just wanted to mention this, that I've been reading one of my first audiobooks ever. I got this from the library. It's Emmy and Oliver by Robin Benway, and I'm, a, I'm about 11 chapters into it right now, but I've been listening to it on the way to work, and I've never read an audiobook before, so that's an interesting experience for me. I'm actually really enjoying this one so far. This month has felt like such an insanely long month because I just got hired at Chipotle earlier this month so it's been kind of crazy. So far it's been good and so more videos will be coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.